Hey, welcome to IndyK 2015 yet again. My name is Rob Manuel, and I am with someone who needs no introduction. <laughs> if you have ever been to IndyK or know about indie games or know about games in general, it is Tracy Fullerton. Thank you so much for being here today with us. Absolutely, I'm having a great time. Uh, and you are actually showing off a game this year. You're showing off your game, Walden the Game, uh, which encompasses all of Walden. <laughs> I, I, lo I love this. Okay, for people who have not played the game or maybe missed that you know, part of high school where they <laughs> That's what It's Walden? Of, that is Walden <laughs> yeah. in the book. Yeah. Uh, uh, Describe us. Well, so, you know, uh, the story of Walden really is the story of a, a young man, Henry uh, Thoreau, who goes down to the pond, uh, sort of a little bit uh, from his house, a little bit, uh, a little ways from, from Concord, Massachusetts in 1845, and he, he builds a cabin and he tries to live life as simply and as well as he can, and, and really not spend all his time working to get better things and upgrade his, like, you know, cable and all that stuff. And <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is all alien I'm just stuff. Joking. Oh no, really, to like live as simply as he could, really, and to uh, uh, to find time to spend in nature and to be inspired, and that's the game. We have built a massive uh, simulation of the woods around Walden Pond, and we have uh, eight seasons that go over the course of a year. So there's a sort of granularity to each season. Each season actually has two states to it. Oh, wow. And um, you play as Thoreau mm -hmm. over the course of a year, and you have to live simply and wisely in the woods mm -hmm. and try and make time for finding inspiration and seeking out all the small beauties that are, that are hidden in the woods. Now, what I find that's really incredible about this game is that you know, we've seen games where it's like about survival, about yeah, like sure. having to live, about having to like work with very few resources. But I think it's this inspire, this inspiration that sort of like sets this game apart from all of that, that you are, you're trying to find that. How does that work within Walden? Well, the way it works is um, through the visual and audio um, sort of lushness. And when you are inspired, there is a great richness to the game. The, the colors are very fresh and um, there are actually more uh, hidden beauties to find, uh, and the audio sort of blossoms into a full score. Um, but as you sort of maybe spend more and more time just drudging away, if you're going to just work in your bean field all day long, every day, then all of that lushness will fade away from the game very slowly. It saps away very slowly, um, so that you might not notice at first, but at some point players are like, they kind of wake up and they're like, wait a minute, this is. What has happened? My world has gotten dull. And they start to realize that they have to make time to wander the woods and look for those beauties. This is, this is already a very deep game just in the discussion of it. I, I have to say, uh, you know, the reflexive nature of games, the, the fact that you can actually experience something like this, this is something like you have, you know, for a you know, have sort of championed for, for so long. Like, how do you... Or hit my head against that rock, <laughs> if you want to call it. <laughs> I would not say hit a head against that rock, because I think that sort of states that you are sort of like, hit, like not hitting it. And I think what you do, like with a lot of your games, you do hit that reflection. You do have that, those moments in there. How do you think you, that you sort of with Walden, like how do you think that, that this sort of all culminates? Everything that you've learned so far, your rock hitting as you <laughs> refer to it, like how does well, that come to, to this I game? I think the interesting thing for me, the, 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 the way that it you know, culminates as you say, or really for me sort of blends um, the things that I love about more traditional games with the things that I love about reflective or contemplative games, uh, is that Walden actually has a very deep simulation system. And that simulation system is something the player has to upkeep and has to work with and has to learn. Um, at the same time, it has the, uh, that simulation system is, is connected in to all of these aspects of inspiration. So what we've tried to do is bring together a foundation of, um, I don't want to call it hardcore play, but it certainly right. has uh, you know, elements of you know, uh, grinding and playing in the traditional sense, but we've tried to um, also sort of uh, interleave that with these ideas about reflection and contemplation. And for me, what it is, it's 
I think of it as respect for the player because I believe that players have more going on in their hearts and their minds that, than, than games have traditionally given them credit for. Mm -hmm. You know, we give them rewards, we cheer them on, but do we ever just recognize that they're having an internal experience? Very rarely, Right. you know? And that's what I was setting out to do with Walden. Uh, I have to say that uh, it's, it's a beautiful game Thanks. as well. Uh, this, this is a game that you, you step inside of it and you really feel like you're you're at this place, what did it take to actually get to that point? <laughs> well, first of all, it took an amazing team. And we have a very small team, and the core team, um, you know, uh, Todd Fermansky, Luke Peterson, Karosh Lanajad, Michael Sweet, and I, I, can't, I can't even name them all, but the a host of students who have come, in on, come on the, the piece. Uh, so it took an incredibly talented, dedicated team, but what we did was we really dug deep into the text. We went through the entire text and we we underlined every plant, every animal he talked about. Uh, we found his own personal survey of the edges of the pond. And that is what we use. We didn't use a modern survey of the edge of the pond. We used Thoreau's survey. Um, we got U.S. geographical data, which is modern, but then we bought, got old maps and found the paths that were there when he was there and carved those into the modern uh, landscape. So when people play the game who have spent a lot of time in that area, um, they'll say, you know, I feel like I'm there. Uh, or this is, you know, people from the, the New England area will say, this is, I'm feeling so nostalgic for, for my childhood. This is what it feels like when I was a child wandering the woods, you know. And that makes me really happy because we wanted the game to have a sense of place. Much of Thoreau's writing is about illuminating the natural sense of place you know he, he's into the details but he's also sort of just into stepping back and taking a breath and admiring the landscape uh, Walden Walden is such a powerful text uh, I believe uh, again and yet uh, really hard to read it, 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 yeah I mean <laughs> it's the, the the thing is like uh, you know going back to like maybe you skip that part of your the high school but it's always a high school experience because it's one of those things that I feel like everyone needs to read and everyone pulls something a little bit different out of it, whether it is the connection with nature, the living with simplicity. What does Walden mean to you? It's changed. Every single time I've read it, it's, I feel like Walden is a, like the pond, it's a, it's a mirror, it's a reflection of the person reading it. Um, and people get down, you know, actually there have been two recent articles um, in the Atlantic and the New Yorker uh, sort of critiquing Thoreau. The, the, the Atlantic uh, uh, one was kind of trying to redeem him, I guess, but the New Yorker one was what I'd call like a screed uh, uh, um, just the past week. And, uh, you know, saying how uh, uh, paradoxical, how hypocritical he is. But I think that's part of his beauty. He reflects us when we read him. Interesting. And and for me, it's changed over the years. You know, when I was young, I was into the ant wars, and then when I was in in college, I was into the political, you know, uh, you know, activism, right. right? And then as I became older, what I realized was speaking to me was this need for balance, for not working our lives away. Right. And it it's been different every every time I've approached the book. So when you started working on the game, yeah. what did it mean to you? It, when I started working on the game, it it was reflecting a particular moment in time for me when I visited the pond alone. I had the pond to myself for a very privileged moment in time on a rainy day. And I thought how amazing it was, it, it would be to just give other people that chance to look in the mirror and, and to experience Walden um, as, if they, as if they too, like Thoreau, had it to themselves. Uh, this is, it's an powerful experience. Uh, the, the, the builds of the game that I've played before have been just like absolutely astounding, personal. Like you said, uh, it's like Walden itself. Everyone's going to pull something out of it uh, each time. Uh, I guess the only question really comes down to is like, when can we get our hands? When can you get our hands? So we're looking at um, probably June, July next year. Uh, you know, all things you know going as we wish um, that's our goal mid-2016 mid and what are what what is one thing that you wish that people take away from from the game uh, as they're playing it as they're as they're contemplating sort of this this inspiration and this this life work balance for me I think it's the importance of 
living deliberately. We, the tagline of the game is play deliberately because we want you to consider what you're doing. And I think that, you know, that's what Thoreau's message really was is it doesn't matter how you live, but what matters is that you have considered it, that it is your choice, that it just doesn't, that don't let it happen to you without making the choice. Uh, I have to say that I'm, I cannot wait <laughs> to, uh, to, to, to jump back into to Walden once again. I we'll think. make sure you get a copy. Well, I'll think, make sure you get one. Well, I appreciate <laughs> that. Uh, once again, I'm here with Tracy Fullerton uh, with Walden, and thank you so much Absolutely. for coming. Absolutely. My pleasure. All right. Have a great indicate. You have a great indicate as well.